In order to get one of your designs in Tinkercad printed, you'll need to use the 3D printing request form. So first you're going to put in your first name, your last name, and you need to put a teacher name if you're doing this for a class. If it's not for a class, that's fine. Just click not for a class. You need your user ID in Tinkercad. Your user ID is right here underneath the little face icons. And mine is Leslie underscore Williams. And you need to spell it exactly right. Then it tells you what to do from there. It's going to say to copy and paste the file name. Okay, so if I go down here, I see that I need to go to my all the stuff that I have. And you do that by clicking here on Tinkercad. I'm already there, all my designs. And then you need to look for the name of your print. So here's the name of this print. This is not a good name because it needs to have my name as part of it. In addition, it needs to be something somewhat unique so that it can be searched and found. If you just put flower like this one, we won't be able to find it. So you can see in the example here, I have Catherine White initials. That's pretty specific. There's not going to be many files with that name. So I'm going to go to my design here. I'm going to click and go to properties. And since my design name wasn't very good, I'm just going to add my first name there. The next thing you need to do is make sure that your design is public. If it's not public, we won't be able to find it. And by default, everything's private. So you have to come in under privacy and make it public. Again, you'll see that right here in the form to help remind you. And then click on Save Changes. So make sure you have a good, it needs to be a name that's not too long, but a name for your file that includes your name and what it is. And then you need to make sure it's public and you'll see public right here once it's Okay, so this is asking for the file name. My file name is Leslie Love Mom. So I'm going to type that in exactly as it shows. And what you can actually do is if you're in the file, you can click and drag over the file name. You can click it right here and then do copy paste, control C, control V, or right click and copy, and then right click and paste in here. That way you don't have to worry about accidentally typing it wrong. Then you need a brief description of your model, and we don't need much. It just helps us keep up with what we're printing. So this could be like um, plate with I love mom. Are you 13 or older? This helps us because the way we look you up is different depending on your age. So let's pretend I'm not 13, and then I just click submit. And that's all you have to do to get it printed. But be patient. It takes a while to print. Sometimes it can take us a few weeks.